Hello friends, Laura Johnson here from Tickle.life and this is Back to Basics Sex Ed 101. This is the podcast where we break up myths and build up facts about sex. And today, as always, I am joined by my incredible co-host, Lulu Batista. How are you doing, Lulu? Hey, everybody. Hey, Laura. I'm doing fabulous today. Starting to get cold, everybody. So bundle up. See, I'm ready for the winter and excited about today's topic. Me too. Yeah. So today's topic, we're going to be discussing gay and lesbian sexual orientations. We'll define them, we'll discuss some outdated terms, and then we'll answer some FAQs. You excited? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> and I just want to let everybody know we're not going to be perfect at this. We are still in a learning just because I'm a sex expert and Laura is so educated as she is. We do not know everything. There's a lot of things coming to fruition in these days. So please don't give us no judgment. We are doing what we know from our basic and we're giving you guys the basics so we can build on this together. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so we are doing our best to research all the terms that we can and are trying to use um, the most recent and appropriate terminologies um but if we make a mistake and you want to talk to us about it you know we are totally comfortable with you shooting us an email being like hey i think you need to talk about it like this um or that so yeah just let us know um but we are trying to give you you know the most basics of information we'll get to some other things um in more detail in later episodes but we we are trying to do the best we can (laughs) all right exactly that's all we can do (laughs) Um, And that that leads into um, my my first kind of segment here. Um, So we have a little bit of a correction from uh, the sexual orientation episode from a couple of weeks ago. Um, So in defining different orientations, we were talking about heterosexuality, asexuality, bisexuality, etc. We referred to terms like homosexual and homosexuality um, when describing attraction to Uh, the same gender when describing same gender attraction. Um, However, in doing research for this episode, uh, I learned that the term, we learned that the term homosexuality is actually an outdated way to describe that orientation and gay and lesbian are the more modern and acceptable terms to use. And I'll get into why homosexuality is a bit outdated in just a little bit. Um, But we wanted to just, you know, give a little bit of a correction from from, uh, that previous episode. Right. Okay, so what does gay mean? Um, Gay is the, this is from um, gaycenter.org, and it is the adjective used to describe people whose enduring physical, romantic, and or emotional attractions are people, are to, excuse me, are to people of the same um, gender. Sometimes lesbian is the preferred term for women. And leading into that, (laughs) what does lesbian mean? This is also from GayCenter.org. It is a uh, lesbian means a woman whose enduring physical and romantic, uh, physical romantic and or emotional attraction is to other women, and some lesbians may prefer to identify as gay or gay women. Um, so gay can be used to describe anyone who is um, attracted to someone of the same gender. Very good. <laughs> And very detailed. I mean, it's a lot of, um, a lot to take in, obviously, for anyone, you know, new to all these kind of things. Um, but again, don't feel, um, a way if you need to ask which one they prefer, how do they prefer to be addressed? I think that could be some of the issue also, you know, just figuring out, well, how do you kind of want me to say that? Are you a lesbian? Are you a gay female? You know, like what's, what's the, um, right way to address you or talk about in that sense so you know <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's a great point um so in using these different terms they are very personal um and so you know it's maybe not appropriate to just kind of go up to someone random and be like hey what's your sexual orientation but, <laughs> <laughs> but um you know if they are describing their sexual orientation pay attention to how they are describing themselves and if you make a mistake apologize and then try not to make that mistake moving forward and use the terms that are acceptable to the person that you're interacting with um so i really i I really like everybody wants to feel comfortable exactly (laughs) exactly so i love that you brought that up um and so the next term i'll go over is coming out 
And this is from a an article on Tickle.life that's written by an anonymous source. Um, but I really liked how they defined coming out. And they defined it as to let fellow human beings know about your sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think about that definition of coming out? Yeah, I think that's, you know, for our show, back to basics, mm -hmm. that is right on the nose. Um, you know, you pick how you want to do that, if you want to do that, mm -hmm. when you want to do that. Um, and, you know, be empowered in that when you decide to make that decision, right? Mm -hmm. And um, just know that you're accepted somewhere. If not everywhere, definitely somewhere, because we all have that fear of anything not being accepted for whatever the reason is. So I know mm -hmm. for um, people coming out in that sense, it can be very difficult. And so mm -hmm. you want to feel a sense of security, a sense of um, understanding, and that you're not being ridiculed or judged in whatever space and who you want to be with. Yeah, I think that's that's really beautifully said. And um, to tie into that, if you are, if someone has disclosed to you what their sexual orientation is, you should not out that person without their permission. Absolutely. Um, you know, you should not be putting pressure on that person to come out. There are many reasons why people choose not to do that. Um, and so you need to be respectful of that, of that decision, whatever it is. Um, it is not your... Oh, it's not yeah. your story. It's, it's not yes, your yeah. roadmap. It's not right. your journey. Please, mm -hmm. if someone entrusted you, and that's something deep for someone to entrust you in that, if they've mm -hmm. already been nervous about whatever it is, and you go against that trust, that's hard. That's, mm -hmm. you know, that person may go back into a, a closed space and not feel at all and then unable to be themselves because they came to you and you betrayed their trust. Trust is a serious thing. And so please, 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 if someone did that, someone came to you and thought you were the person, honor that. Mm -hmm. Keep write it down and then delete it if you feel like you need to just get it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Send the recording back to the person who sent to you. Hey, you know, so-and-so was this. And so <laughs> you said it to somebody, the same person who said it to you. So you can just kind of get it off. So I know sometimes for some people, they just have to get things off their chest, you know? But sometimes it's not the right thing. So yeah. do that. <laughs> Send the person the recording, the same person. Say, I just need to get off my chest. So I'm saying it back to you. Sounds silly, but, you know, at least you know that you're going to be true to that person and you've done what mm -hmm. you needed to do. So, Right. Right. Yeah. I really like that you said that it's it's not your story to tell. Um, and yes. you could be really doing a, a real disservice to that person if you start talking about their orientation with other people that, you know, you did not have permission to tell. Um, so please be respectful of your friend or your partners or whomever's boundaries in that situation. Absolutely. Because you would want the same in return, no matter what it is. You just respect mm -hmm. people's where they are. Respect Absolutely. That. Okay. So why is the term homosexuality outdated? And I'm going to reference an article by Dr. Karen Stoltznow, um, who wrote a, a post for Psychology Today. Um, but essentially, this article was actually really interesting, and we'll link to the full thing in the show notes. But to summarize it, over time, the word homosexual has gone from being a category of orientation, of sexual orientation, um, to becoming a slur against um, people of the LGBTQ LGBTQ community. So this means that the term is now outdated and also offensive. Um, mm -hmm. Homosexuality, the, the term has been um, used to reference um, criminalization, meaning that um, engaging in, in um, sexual activities with someone of the same gender has been made into a crime. Um, yes. It has been pathologized, which means that it, until actually really recently, um, it was considered to be a disease or disorder to be gay. Um, and it has been demonized, meaning that it has been condemned as something sinful, wrong, or bad. Um, we have made great strides um, to uh, distance ourselves from criminalizing it. Um, pathologizing it and um uh <laughs> um condemning it but we still have a long way to go and it's not obviously accepted everywhere even in the united states and elsewhere around the world um being gay is considered a crime and it's can be punishable with 
jail time or even death. Um, so being categorized as quote unquote homosexual um, has been weaponized to cause harm to the LGBTQ community. And again, anywhere from denying people rights to justifying genocide. Um, so given the painful history of the terms homosexual or homosexuality, um, using them in the modern day is considered homophobic. Well, that's good. We can get away from those words. We need to get away from a lot of words in life. So I guess, you know, we have to start somewhere. And so this is where some of the start will happen. And, you know, again, just find a different way, <laughs> a different yeah. um, wording, if you would. So, um, yeah, well, everybody will slowly move out of that. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of words were slowly used, have come out of um, categories. So we're hoping that's one of them. Yeah, yeah. So using um, gay or lesbian to describe someone's orientation would be more appropriate than uh, homosexual or homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's jump into some frequently asked questions. And I'll start with the first one. Why are people gay? Uh, that's who they're attracted to. That mm -hmm. I think that's the most easy and basic and I laugh about it, but it, we know it's not a joke. And we know, you listen, people who like who they like and mm -hmm. um, we don't know really, right? Just like we don't know why people are attracted to opposite genders. It's just yep. what who you are in your makeup and mm -hmm. we should just respect that and say, exactly. hey, good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, to quote the American Psychological Association via um, our source, the LGBT Center at Chapel Hill, um, there is no consensus among scientists about the exact reasons that an individual develops heterosexual, bisexual, gay, or lesbian orientation. Although much recent much research has examined the possible genetic, hormonal, developmental, social, and cultural influences on sexual orientation. No findings have emerged that permit scientists to conclude that sexual orientation is determined by any particular factor or factors. Um, many think that nature and nurture both play complex roles. So to boil that down, we don't know. Um, right. <laughs> it's just something that is a part of every individual, uh, sorry, sexual orientation generally is a part of any, every individual. Um, we don't know why people are gay. We don't know why people are straight. We don't know why people are bi. And we don't know why people are ace or, there you go. <laughs> or asexual. We, we just don't know. Um, what we do know is that it's not a choice. It's not a um, preference and it's not a lifestyle. So that leads me into my next kind of FAQ. Um, why don't we say the terms sexual preference as opposed to sexual orientation? And so uh, this is from glad.org. The term sexual preference is typically used to suggest that being lesbian, gay, or bisexual is a choice and therefore should be quote unquote cured. Um, mm. And we talked about <laughs> this in the sexual orientation episode with reference right. to conversion therapy. Um, so conversion therapy, just as a refresher, is an attempt to convert someone into becoming straight or heterosexual. Um, and these therapies are emotion are often emotionally and physically abusive. They're not based yeah. on medical science and um, they are completely unacceptable, damaging, um, and absolutely horrific. Yes, absolutely. And then, so lastly, how do I know if I am gay, lesbian, or bi? And this is via pflag.org. And I, I really love this quote from them. You'll know it when you know. It could take a while, and it's okay to remain unsure. There is no need to rush. Um, give yourself permission to explore your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And mm -hmm. I, I thought that was, like, so beautifully put um, yes. to summarize. How do I know? And... You will, you will figure and, it out. And don't, and don't <clears throat> feel like because this person is, you have to be, or because they're not, you have to be. It's your body, you know, it's your person, it's your mind, it's your everything. Yeah, yeah. So um, we encourage people to be who they are. If you have friends who are part of the LGBTQ community, support them, be a good ally. Uh, listen and respect to their boundaries. 
And uh, do you have any final thoughts, Lulu, before we wrap up? Be kind to those. Be kind to everybody. But, you know, mm -hmm. just notice it's it's still a struggle for everybody in every um, way. So be nice. Be kind. If you don't know what to say, say nothing. <laughs> if you're not sure, say nothing. Just mm -hmm. say, okay. And that's it. You know, because you don't want to put your foot in your mouth. That's horrible. Sometimes you can't get it out. <laughs> And do research. You know, we have a lot of research all over. We have this podcast. We have information on Life. There's information everywhere. So educate yourself, mm -hmm. you know, if you really want to be an ally to those. And that's what that I would is say. so important. Um, just because you know someone who's gay or lesbian and they are not your source to ask a whole bunch of questions about what that means, get online. Go to the resources. Go to Tickle.life. You've got a whole bunch of articles there. Um, and we're going to, you know, as we always do, we link to all the all of our references in our show notes. So do some reading. Become educated. Um, uh -huh. Support your support your friends. Support your community in that way. And there are Absolutely. there are LGBTQ resources everywhere. All over. Yep. And and uh -huh. those and those centers are where you go to become educated about these things. So Talk to people so, there. Do your part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do on to others positively, positively, yes. in a positive way. I love that. Be kind, be positive. Yeah. That's my okay. bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this episode of Back to Basics. Thank you so much for joining us. Please hit that follow or subscribe button to get notified when new episodes go live. And if you like what you hear, please consider us consider giving us a review wherever you're listening to our podcast um, in order to help other folks find us. And if you have a question that you'd like us to answer, please do not hesitate to send an email to us at podcast at tickle.life. That's podcast with a T at tickle.life. Uh, we'll, so goodbye, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.